Governor Gavin Newsom shaking hands with Chinese President Xi Jinping, an unexpected last-minute meeting on the governor's week-long climate-focused trip through China. The relationship through our subnational engagement. This comes at a time when tension between the U.S. and China continues to rise, which Newsom is hoping to cool in the name of collaboration to confront climate change. After the meeting, Newsom shared his takeaway with CNN. And the fact that we had access to these high-level meetings, I'll be meeting with five provincial governors tomorrow, another extension of this visit, I think is suggestive uh, that we're, in, we're, we're entering, I hope, a new phase, a bit of a thawing. The last few years have been very stressful. I think it goes to your question. Um, and we've got to turn down the heat. We've got to manage our strategic differences. We've got to reconcile our strategic red lines. Those are well established between our two countries. Uh, but I want to applaud the Biden administration. And on the basis of the engagement I had today uh, with members of the Xi administration, uh, President Xi himself, um, I want to applaud his willingness to reconcile those differences, people to people exchange. The fact he's meeting with a governor of California at the subnational level, I think is indicative of a thaw. We're going to be competitors, but it's to find paths forward to avoid conflict. Democratic Congressman Ami Barra serves on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. He says he's encouraged the meeting happened. I think it's um, totally appropriate. You know, um, it's important for the United States, for our top leaders, and, and certainly the governor of California is one of the top leaders to open dialogue with China. And if that dialogue is with the leader of China, President Xi, um, that's fine, because again, I think we have to find areas that we can work together. We need to be getting a lot tougher with China instead of over there uh, trying to uh, basically shine their boots for them. Republican Congressman Doug LaMalfa with a different point of view. He doesn't really need to be in China to do that. He needs to be focused on what's going to help Californians here instead of a basically a extended photo op with people that aren't here actually to help us over in China. Meanwhile, President Xi reportedly said he hoped Newsom's visit would enhance mutual understanding between both sides. Reporting in Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, KCRA 3 News. The governor is expected to return to California on Sunday. California taxpayers are not paying for this trip. Newsom's office says the nonprofit Protocol Foundation is paying for 100% of the trip.